Hi everyone, this is Emmy, and today I'm going to show you how to make this crocheted bag. And it's really not as complicated as it looks. It's quite a simple bag to make. And then when I'm done the video, I'm going to take a quick run outside and show you how we're faring out with our snow. So let's get started. To make this bag, I'm going to use Red Heart Comfort yarn, worsted weight medium in the color putty, and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, to make this bag, you're just going to work around and around. So you're going to start with a chain that's as wide as you would like your bag to be. And I've already gone ahead and done that. And this is chain 30. So now I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way down the chain for the bottom of the bag. And then I'm going to start showing you how to do the textured stitch that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to single crochet all the way down here and then I'm going to single crochet all the way back here. Okay, I have single crocheted all the way down the chain and then I'm just going to single crochet all down the other side of the chain. So you just single crochet in each stitch of the chain like that. You want to get to the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join here. Okay, I've worked all the way down the chain, and at the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join. So now I'm going to start my textured stitch, and I'm going to chain two to begin. So I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip, single crochet chain one, skip, single crochet. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way down, all the way around, come back here and slip stitch to join. Okay, I've worked all the way around. I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to slip stitch to join. And that's the beginning of the bag. So, now I'm going to chain two. One, two. And I'm going to look for the first single crochet and it is here. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip that chain one space and I'm going to single crochet in the next single crochet. So chain one, skip the chain one space, single crochet in the next single crochet. Chain one, skip the next space, single crochet in the next single crochet chain one, skip that space, single crochet in the next single crochet. And I'm going to keep doing that, going around and around, until the bag is as deep as I would like it to be. And then across the opening here, I'm going to work the frill. So I'm going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to do that all the way around the opening of the bag. Okay, I worked all around the opening of the bag. I single crocheted in the chain one space and in the single crochet. And at the end of the row, I slip stitched to join it to the first loop. To line the bag, I have simply cut a piece of polar fleece that's the same size as the bag, and I've used the fold as the bottom because that way I only have to do two seams. And so you could even do those seams by hand because that's very little sewing. And then you're going to take this lining and you're going to slide it inside the bag. Sew the lining to the inside of the bag with just some tiny little stitches and a needle and thread. And I'm keeping this row open because I'm going to pass my drawstring through there. So I'm sewing the lining just below that. Okay, I've gone ahead and I have chained a cord that is four feet long. And I'm just going to start here in the center and I'm going to pass my cord through all the way around the opening of the bag. Okay, I pass my cord all the way through and close the bag. For the bag handles, I have another video on how to make these bag handles. Click on the next link to find out how to make these bag handles. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make these flowers. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. 
chain five one two three four five single crochet in the ring now that forms one loop from the flower so chain five one two three four five and I always carry my yarn end along the outside of the ring then I can close up the hole in the center when I'm done so chain five one two three four five single crochet in the ring now you're going to continue to do that until you have as many loops as you want in your ring I have 12 in this flower and then I've sewn a button in the center so you can go ahead and make as many flowers as you would like for your bag and I've added four flowers on my purse and now to make a bow I just took some fabric and I wrapped it around my hand like this and this is just a torn strip of fabric I'm just going to gather it in the center and take a small piece of the same yarn tie that here in the center to make a little bow spread open the loops like that and I'm just going to sew that there on the side it's not really functional it's just there as a decoration and then I went ahead and added some beads on the end of my cords there you have it there's the finished purse and I'm going to go ahead and show you just a few of the new patterns in my pattern shop and in Ashton 11's pattern shop Okay, I'm out in my driveway and it's starting to melt here on the asphalt. And you can see we still have quite a high bank here at the end of the driveway. And this is looking down one side of my street. It's the end of my driveway. And down the other side of the street. So you can see we've still got quite a bit of snow. Eventually it'll melt though. Pretty sure. Okay, so now I'm going to go back inside and post that video of the purse. So there you have it. There's the finished purse. Thanks for watching my videos. If you like this video, please click like. Please share it on your social media sites and comment below. And please subscribe if you haven't done so yet.